かったな貴様のモンスターが攻撃した瞬間トラップカード死のデッキ破壊ウイルス発動
Anyway, so, uh, yeah, Lara of Darkness Labyrinth. This is a very interesting thing, if I do say so myself. Uh, so, let's go through everything and see how this actually works. We're playing Triple Layer 1 Metaverse to get us to the said lair, and Triple Arima to get us to, well, the lair. Nothing really important here. Uh, triple Lilith, Double Deck Devastation Virus, and Double Full Force Virus. And because uh, we want to, well, tribute stuff and uh, keep, keep our opponent in check, I decided to use the Deck Devastation Virus and Full Force Virus because I figured that uh, most players play the little guys uh, in terms of attack for the Deck Virus and defense for uh, full force virus. The thing with full force is that it won't work on link monsters, unfortunately, since they don't have defense. But uh, that's uh, that's a thing. Anyway, uh, we're playing double, uh, triple Ariane, uh, which is awesome. Ariane can send a normal trap card either from the hand or uh, the field and just summon a level, a level 4 or a lower fiend monster. So, most of the time we're going to grab Ariana, which can search a Labyrinth card, giving us a basically nullifying the cost for uh, summoning or even making it a plus one, yeah, which is awesome. Or we can get Lilith, which is great. Yeah. For the rest of our Labyrinth monsters, we're playing double Chandra, double Stuvi, and one Cock Block. Uh, Chandra and Stuvi are here to set Labyrinth cards directly from the deck, and additionally, when monsters are destroyed, Via the effect of a normal trap card, Chandra gets uh, back to our hands from the grave, while Stuvi gets summoned back to the field, which also gives us some momentum and some field presence. We're playing one setting since uh, I don't think that we have too many targets for the setting, at least in this build. The setting is awesome. Uh, you can recycle two of your level wrap, blah, 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 labyrinth spells and traps, and set to non labyrinth spells or traps, uh, set labyrinth, non-labyrinth, normal traps directly to the field. So, uh, most of the time I, I'm going to set, I decided to go for metaverse to get lair on the field and one of the viruses so I can just combo off with uh, this and control the field even more. Uh, but uh, one copy is more than enough in my opinion, especially since we're playing Triple Barrage and Triple uh, Welcome to uh, well, uh, I can't English today. Uh, Welcome Labyrinth, which gives us enough uh, materials to just set to normal traps uh, on the field. The trap trick is here so we can get uh, better access to all of our normal traps, which there are like a lot of them. Like seriously, there's a lot of them. As for the hand traps, uh, triple ash and then permits uh, is basically standard. Uh, for the extra deck, the thing is that uh, Labyrinth um, spells or traps, monsters, everything uh, locks you into fiends. So I decided to focus on fiend extra deck monsters, and that's why we're playing Evil Swarm Thanatos, Baguska, Excited Knight, Dugares, an Evil Swarm Nightmare for our rank 4 Xyz, which we can get from Ariane and Ariana. The Nightmare Package with Gryphon, Unicorn, Phoenix and Cerberus. And that is basically all our Fiend monsters in the deck. For our non-Fiends, uh, I decided to go with Access Code Toka for some uh, needed uh, uh, removal and uh, Big Punchy. Uh, dark, the Dark Charmer Gloomy, because, well, everything is going to be dark, because we're playing a Lair deck. Uh, the same thing goes with Wii Witch's Apprentice. And we also have IP Mascarena, since uh, we can just make IP Mascarena out of the tokens, which is awesome. Uh, additionally, uh, if uh, we uh, use uh, one of our traps and do stuff, uh, we can just use Mascarena to go into Unicorn and get another disruption out of this, so... I think that's a cool uh, little interaction here. And we're playing Utopia and Utopia the Lightning since the deck doesn't have that many uh, big bodies. It doesn't have that much of a presence in terms of attack. I just like to go for Utopia the Lightning to get some big number number. And uh, that's about it for this. So, I, do I think this is uh, the Bible? Maybe? It's, uh, it's a decent build. It 
did really well during testing, more, more better than uh, I actually expected. So, without further ado, let's go to the stats. Mm -hmm. 